Hi guys, uh, so I finally got around to doing my setup guide for uh, PCSX2 for the Samco light gun. Um, so I'm just going to get right into it. Um, obviously the first thing you're going to need is PCSX2. Um, I'll leave a link to the website where to get this from below. Uh, now you can use uh, the stable version of 1.4 um, if you already have this installed but I actually recommend getting the latest development guide which you get from just going to development windows. Um, the main reason for this is because uh, split screen in time crisis 2 and 1 um, is currently working and you basically just get um, all the latest bugs are all fixed and everything like that so it's definitely worth getting if you don't already have it. Um, so yeah, just follow these links and then just click on download of the latest version. That'll start to download. Uh, the next thing you will need is the Nuve plugins uh, for PCSX2. Um, these are also available on the PCSX2 website, um, but it's a little bit confusing um, on which files to actually use out of their download. Um, so I've made my own link here, uh, which has just the two files uh, that we're going to need to uh, set up this plugin. Um, other couple of things you're going to need is you're going to need some BIOSes. Um, so I managed to find one with a ton of BIOSes in. You obviously won't need this many, but um, it's just what I've got. And then also some ISOs. Um, so there's a couple of examples there. Um, once again, I'm not going to show you where to download the BIOSes or ISOs, but um, a quick Google search and you should be able to find what you need. Alright, now all we have to do is uh, unzip our PCSX2. Um, and I'm just going to quickly rename mine to PCSX2. Um, and then just drag that on my desktop. Um, you can obviously put this wherever you like, but just for this demo, I'm just going to leave it on my desktop just to make it a bit easier for everyone. Um, and then the next thing we have to do is um, just install our biases and plugins, uh, which is pretty simple for the biases. Um, just make sure that folder is named biases exactly like that, and then just drag that straight into the uh, PCSX2 directory. Uh, next, we just need to make a folder called INIS. Um, and this is going to be where we put our Gunpon profiles. Um, so if you've downloaded the zip that I've supplied, um, just grab the folder with Gunpon, Guncon profiles at the end um, and then drag that straight in that INIS folder. And then the last thing we have to do is just install the plugin. Uh, so that's the, the other file in that folder just goes straight into plugins. Uh, and that's basically uh, the first stage of your setup. Um, so once you've done all that, we can open PCSX2 for the first time. Um, just make sure before you open it, you have um, both your guns or one gun um, plugged in um, before you open it. Um, and then we can just go through the setup guide. Um, just make sure here that you have the, the Nuve um, plugin shows up. Um, and then we just have a big list of biases here. Um, you may not have this many, um, but I'm just going to use uh, Japan 2010 just because it's the newest, um, but pretty much any of those biases should work. Uh, all right, now once we've loaded up, we get this log screen. You can just close that. And then there's just a couple more settings we have to do to get this all working nicely. Um, so if we go into configure and then go to emulation settings and go to GS window, um, firstly we want to disable uh, double click into full screen mode uh, and then uh, we want to hide the mouse cursor and then we want to be default full screen mode when we open the games. Um, there's also another tab in here with speed hacks. Uh, mine works pretty fine on safe, so I'm not going to leave anything. Uh, not going to change anything, sorry. So I'm um, just going to skip out of there. Do, uh, uh, video plugin settings. Um, I'm going to keep this basically default as well, except for one thing, uh, which is change 
um, the setting to OpenGL. Because um, unfortunately, time crisis two and three, you get this weird white haze if you're trying to use DirectX 11. Um, but everything else I will keep to default. Uh, and then the last thing we need to do is just set up um, our plugin for our actual light guns. Um, so this is what the plugin screen looks like. Um, so the first thing we want to do is change this to GunCon 2, uh, and then go into Configure. Uh, there's a whole lot of settings in here, but basically all you should need to change is um, just select the game that you're going to play. I'm using Time Crisis 2, uh, which needs the mouse calibration hack, so I'm going to turn that on. And then we click Acquire. Um, so just do this with the mouse and then click OK with the mouse. Now grab your gun and just pull the trigger. Um, so the mouse should go to the center of the screen and it should say device acquired and ready to use. Um, so do exactly the same thing if you're using two light guns, gun con 2, configure, um, go down and choose your game. Um, so time crisis 2, turn on my uh, mouse calibration hack. Acquire with the mouse, you can click OK with the mouse, and once again just pull the trigger on your second gun. Um, uh, and yeah, and if you find that the gun is uh, switched, like one, one is player one and two is, well you know what I mean, uh, that's that little thing that I just checked is the one that you use to, um, to switch those around. Uh, then we just need to select an ISO um, and then go launch ISO. Uh, so once your game has started, first grab your first gun and just pull the trigger like two or three times to get the um, thing centered in the middle and then um, you can just calibrate um, how you normally calibrate. Same again with the second gun, a couple of times. Um, press the calibration button, shoot top left, top, bottom right, um, and your guns will be calibrated and ready to go. Um, in this demo, I'm going to show you um, dual gun mode, I think it's called. Uh, this is by far, oh, double gun, sorry. This is by far my favorite way to play Time Crisis at the moment. Uh, if you want to do a double light gun as well, um, I've added new code to my github uh, which allows you to attach a foot pedal to the um, the broken out alt pin on the PCB um, so just get two of those put them on both your light guns and it's super fun I really recommend it uh, so that's it for the uh, PCSX2 setup guide um, I hope you guys enjoyed it um, still got uh, plenty of videos to make I'm actually working on a few new uh, PCBs as well, so keep an eye out for those. Um, uh, if you like this video, give us a like, uh, please subscribe, all that palaver. Um, and as usual, thanks for watching. All right, cheers, guys. Bye.